Kia ora whanau. As some of you may or may not be aware, the New Zealand Herald recently made a big fluff up when they used Portaloo Phil's photo for an article regarding uh, gun violence, knife attacks and racism. I'm sure this came as much of a surprise to you as it did to me. And uh, I thought I'd check in with Portaloo Phil and see how he's doing these days. It turns out our fellow freedom fighter is in much need of our support right now. But first, let's flip back to when I first met Portaloo Phil. Hey Zeb, um, <laughs> you can call me Portaloo Phil or Phil? Portaloo Phil. Uh, where, how'd you get that name, mate? Well, um, this morning I uh, we didn't want to lose the Portaloos. Um, they charged us with uh, riot shields. Were they trying to get the Portaloos? No. They no, were trying to get they were trying me. to get in. They were trying to get me. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that footage shocked me to my core. Watching him handle punch after punch before the sergeant comes in and fully eye gouges him with his thumbs. And of course, when they came with their riot shields, they just pushed away the, the slighter people. As you can see, I'm not very slight. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I ended up backed up against the portaloos, being told by the senior sergeant, fall back, fall back, and getting hit by shields. But there was nowhere for you to fall back to. You were was, up against yeah. the portaloo. And, and then he started throwing um, left hand hooks. And he got me at least two times, maybe three, with a left hand hook. Um, fell back, and I was trying to get my camera out. And he hit me uh, another once or twice. I, 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 I'm a bit hazy at bit that stage. And then he gouged my eyes with both of his thumbs. And at that stage, I couldn't take any more. So I charged the line, I pushed through them, and I ended up going down with three of them falling yeah. on me. And they arrested me. Um, we went in the paddy wagon and went away, but as soon as they had arrested me, I was told by the other people who took the videos of me getting hit and everything, that they immediately pulled back. So they were after me only, they had taken my tent mate, and they were after me, I guess. My phone went flying, one of the police officers picked it up. When I got my gear at the central station, it wasn't there, so they've stolen my phone. Are the yellow vests aware there are much easier ways to steal cell phones these days? Seeking to have the uh, officer who was um, numbered X653 um, arrested for assault because it was clearly an assault. You know, we're here about freedom, we're here about stopping the mandates, we're here about getting rid of the Public Health Response Act. The main thing is we've got to get rid of these mandates and get people back to work. Um, hey Phil, just so you know, I'm getting dozens and dozens of comments here in support of you. Uh, lots of people oh, are sending you. you their love, sending you aroha, wishing you uh, really oh, fast healing. Uh, okay. just so Peace you know. and love to you all. <laughs> uh, I would like to say as soon as I got out of the hospital and got back past the bollards coming in to this uh, occupation area, all I had was love. Unfortunately for us, not everybody was there for love. And can I just quickly ask about your injuries? I mean, you've got obvious injuries on your face, yes, uh, yes. and we can we can see from the video footage where those injuries came from. Yeah. But I can only hazard a guess that there are definitely other injuries, other places. I worry about that's that. That's injury. Uh, that, that's oh a yes, I see injury. that. There's a bit of a um, graze yeah, looking. That's a bruise and there. And you can see the cuts and stuff when they threw me down. Uh, I've yep. got bruising under just, my ribs where he tried to say. break my ribs or win me uh, with his uppercut. Today I'm on security patrol as, as well as many of my friends here that you yep. can see around us. Um, and uh, we're, we're always trying to get water in and um, paper plates and Helping stuff like that. Helping to facilitate uh, the supplies and uh, things. If, if now Phil was at Freedom Village doing everything that we were there doing. He was there fighting for our freedoms and fighting for our rights. But even being double vaxxed didn't save him from this one. Um, if only uh, being vaccinated protected you from being punched by <laughs> senior sergeants. Um, uh, unfortunately it does not. Um, you find these things out the hard way, I guess. Oh, life is just one big learning curve, <laughs> isn't, isn't it? it? <laughs> isn't it? Oh, and, okay. Hey, that's one thing. Just before I go, yep. don't be ignorant. Tell people, tell people to look at their information. Encourage people who believe in mandates to look at the information. And speaking of information, the information we do have 
is that the IPCA are currently investigating this incident and there has also been a complaint lodged with the police regarding the assault. Now unfortunately for our friend Phil, his funds have been completely depleted trying to fight this case and in order for him to continue to fight against this assault, he needs our help. Now as you well know, legal fees cost an arm and a leg. Not cheap at all. So I'm putting out this emergency call for anybody who can help with Phil's legal fees. Anybody who can support him in a legal position and anyone who can donate towards the thousands of dollars it's going to take to beat this. This case is going to set a precedent for freedom fighters all over New Zealand. So it's really important we get in behind this. He can win this. And won't that be a game changer? So let's get behind our fellow freedom fighter Fano. What happened to him at Parliament could have happened to any of us. And we know it's not right.